Alright guys, Flea Market Junkie here, and man do I have a video for you guys. I am so excited about this one. I have had one hell of a week game hunting out there in the wild. No bullshit. Some of you guys are going to watch this video and say, come on, Cody, there's no way you got all these games in the wild. And I swear to you, every game that you see here in this video all came from the wild. And by the wild, I mean not eBay. I, they are game stores or um, just connections that I made, but none of this stuff came from eBay. They, everything was found locally, and I have just had one hell of a week. So my first stop was uh, Titan Games. I've mentioned Titan Games to you guys before in the past. It's a great store. The owners of the store are really cool. They're in their mid-20s-ish. Really cool guys. Um, I highly recommend this store to all of you. Go out there, check out Titan Games. All right, so... Here, here's my first stop was Titan Games. Go ahead and check that out. Hey, all right, guys. I just got off work. Um, I'm out in uh, the Carroll Stream area by that store that I've been telling you guys about, Titan Games. And um, I'm going to go in there, and I've got my Conker's Bad Fur Day and the, what I have left of my doubles of my NES games, and I'm going to try to trade them in with these guys and uh, see what they'll give me. So hopefully they do a little better than uh, people play games, but... Because people play games offered me nothing for my doubles. I was like, they wanted to give me like 50 bucks for like 60 NES games. It was like four Mike Tyson's punch outs in there and all these good games, Ghosts and Goblins, and they didn't want to give me shit. So hopefully uh, Titan Games will give me the hookup and we'll see what they do. <laughs> I cannot freaking believe it. I got it. Um, I traded them my Conker's Bad for a day and all my doubles. It was probably 30 games, a couple Mike Tyson's punch outs, stuff like that. But I got Action Motherfucking 52, son. Look at that. Oops, upside down. Action 52. Dude, I can't believe it. I'm so freaking stoked right now to have this game. And this store, by far, is the best retro gaming store in the Chicagoland, by far. The guys that own this store are really, really cool. They're like 30-ish, maybe late 20s. Awesome guys. They'll sit there, they'll talk to you, they'll treat you like you're in a fucking asshole, like uh, people play games or disc replay or whatever. These guys are really cool, man. If you guys live in the Chicagoland and you love... Uh, retro gaming you have to go to uh, Titan games this place is the shit I told you I'm having a great week this week guys okay so my next stop this was a store that's in Hobart Indiana it's called the video game palace or the video palace um, I went into the store about six months ago and the owner of the store just rubbed me the wrong way and I told myself there was no way I was going back to this store but that was six months ago I decided to go back there and give him a chance, and the owner was still kind of a dick, but I did get a great game, so go ahead and check this one out. Alright, so I'm at a store that I swore I would never go back to. 
Um, this was like six months ago I came here and the owner of the store was just a complete fucking douchebag. Like he wouldn't negotiate with me. I asked him to, I bought, I, I mean, I spent like a hundred dollars in the store and I asked him, he wouldn't negotiate the guy. He was just a complete, he just was really unfriendly and was just really a douchebag. So I told myself I wasn't going to come back here anymore. But that was like six months ago, and so I decided I'm going to come here, and I'm going to check them out, give them another shot. So, let's see how it goes. Alright guys, so I went in and you know what, it was the same guy, the owner that I dealt with, but, and he did seem to be a little more friendly this time, uh, he wasn't such an ass, he does still kind of put off a dick vibe, like, in his personal life he's probably an asshole, but he seemed okay, you know, we, we talked a little uh, Nintendo, little games, he's telling me how uh, it's harder to come by NES games now, and uh and easier to come by super nintendo games i don't know whatever he did bullshit with me a little bit but of course i, I this time i didn't try to uh haggle with him so maybe that's why he didn't piss me off as bad but i did end up getting a really cool game so here it is i got chubby cherub for i ended up paying 40 bucks so i it's an okay price i think it's not the best price it's not a flea market find price, but 40 bucks. I don't think I overpaid. I don't know, maybe I did. And then I went ahead and picked up uh, Contra for PlayStation for eight bucks. I don't know. I never seen. I've never seen it before. It's Contra. It looks pretty awesome on the back. So that's pretty cool. So I got Chubby Cherub and Contra from Video Palace in Hobart, Indiana. Alright guys, huh? Not bad so far. Uh, Chubby Cherub. Action 52. That would be a great week all by itself. If I didn't get anything else for the week, that would have been an amazing week. But, I got more. So, for the rest of this stuff I'm going to show you, on my Battletoads Double Dragon pickups episode, um, I told you guys that the guy I got that from lived in the next town over from me. So what I did is I messaged him and I asked him if he had any more games he was looking to get rid of. And he said he had more games. So we got together um, by a local disc replay and boy did he have more games. He had great stuff and he was letting it go for cheap. So um, I'm going to start off with I got a couple PAL games. Um, I got Blue Shadow, Paris All Stars, it's Rainbow Island 2, and Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. I guess in Europe they don't say ninja, they say hero turtles. So I got all those off of them for uh, real cheap, a couple dollars each. And then uh, he gave me this for free. He told me that it didn't work. He's like, I know for sure it doesn't work. He said he put it in his Nintendo. And uh, I took, I brought it home and I threw it in the Nintendo and it worked immediately. Like I didn't have to blow in it, I have to do anything. But I got Adventure Island 2 for free. So that was awesome. Okay, and then I got uh, this of comic game, the Fists of the North Star. I think I got that for $2 off of them. And I got a, this is a, uh, like a reproduction or a homebrew. It's called Pirate Booty, I think. Yeah, Pirate Booty. And it's basically all the dirty NES games. Uh, Bubble Pack, Babes, Peekaboo Poker, all the dirty NES games. So uh, I think uh, 5 or $10 I think I paid for that. Okay, and then I got... 
Taito game Toki with a manual for a couple dollars. Um, here's a uh, Wisdom Tree game, Spiritual Warfare. I think I gave him five bucks for it. Great deal. Here's a uh, a Color Dream game, Robo Demon Three. I haven't played it yet, but it looks interesting. Happy to have that. I got Bomberman. This is a great game to add to the collection that I didn't have already. I gave him a couple bucks, maybe five bucks for it. Okay, here's a good one. I, get, I remember, I know I gave him two dollars for this, uninvited. Two bucks. Really happy to have that. Oh. Okay, and then I got Bandit Kings of Ancient China with a manual and a map, I believe. I believe it's the map. For uh, two bucks, I gave them. Okay, and I've got a bunch of complete and box games off of them. And I paid $10 each for, all, for each one of these. I got Lolo 2. Destiny of the Emperor, Super C, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, and Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. And I also got a Ghoul School, Power Blade. Prince of Persia. I got all those complete box games for ten bucks each, and then I got a uh, an in I a new a uh, new in box factory sealed Wall Street Kid for I believe it was ten bucks. So can't beat that. Any factory sealed game for ten bucks is a great buy. Okay, and then I got these from them. I gave them twenty bucks a piece for these. I'm super excited to have them. These are the dirty Atari games. All complete in box. Um, I, made by Mystique. This one's called Eat 'em and Beat 'em. It's complete in box. Uh, they come with it in these little puffy cases. They're like brand new. In excellent condition. 20 bucks I paid. This one's called Bachelor Party. Same thing, little puffy case, excellent condition. And this is probably the most famous one, Custer's Revenge. Uh, the box isn't in as good a condition on this one, but it's in immaculate shape. Custer's Revenge. All right guys, so pretty cool so far, right? Um, Here's where it gets interesting, okay? All right, I got this 110 in one card. Uh, I'm not really sure who makes it yet. Hopefully, uh, one of you guys, somebody, one of you guys could tell me who, who made these. It's 110 in one, I put it in, it plays great. I've tested everything here, everything plays awesome. So, all right, 110 in one card. Bomberman 2. For I gave him 10 bucks for this. Bomberman 2. Amazing. Still pretty good, right? Pretty awesome. I'm gonna keep going, it gets better. Okay, then we got uh, this Megacom multi-cart. It's made by Supervision. Um, other than that, I really don't know much about it. I looked it up on uh, Nintendo Age and uh, they have a picture of it, but they really don't have all that much information on it. So Megacom, I have them, I have seen them before in game stores, and uh, well, actually that Titan Games had a copy, and I saw it on eBay, and they run for about sixty or seventy bucks. Okay, and I got another uh, Supervision multi cart. It's uh, it's in the box. I'm not sure if this is a PAL version. I'm hoping that. Uh, one of you guys could give me some insight on this. It's another uh, Supervision. It's 
another Supervision Multi card. Again, Nintendo Age really doesn't have uh, any information on it. So I'm not really sure how much it's worth or how rare it is. But uh, I gave them 10 bucks and it's in the box. And I'm pretty sure that was a good deal. Okay, guys. Are you ready for this? I hope you guys are sitting down. Because I got for $20. 20 bucks, a Caltron 6 in 1. Oh, yeah! 20 bucks. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. And when I told you guys I'm having an amazing week, I am having an amazing week. So, I don't know. I, I'm speechless to even own this game. When I first started collecting, I never in a million years thought that I would own an Action 52 or a Caltron 6 in 1 unbelievable and I found everything locally that's the craziest part none of this stuff came from eBay it was all for me pounding the pavement getting out there making connections you know asking people if they have old games and uh, you know what I'm really happy to have it because I really feel like I didn't I didn't cheat you know I didn't go to eBay I didn't order it online I didn't uh, pay retail first of all I didn't pay retail so I don't know I'm just really happy to have it well, guys, that's my pickups for this week. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm the Flea Market Junkie signing out, and I'll catch you on the flip side.